Cultures around the world have their respective beauty standards, whether it's wearing large lip plates or having an elongated skull. The people of these cultures consider their beauty standards as an important aspect of their culture and tradition. One of such is the neck ring, which is used to achieve an appearance of an elongated neck. The custom, which has been around since the 11th century and practiced by some people in Africa and Asia, has been one that has managed to remain relevant in these places regardless of modernization. The neck ring custom is found amongst some people in Africa called the Indebele and Asia called the Kayanlawi people. For many years, the Indebele and Kayanlawi people have been known for having a seemingly elongated neck from wearing neck rings. This unusual choice of fashion is because these people believe that having an elongated neck um, is not only attractive but dignifying as well. The neck rings, which are made of gold alloys and brass coils, have an opening on the sides to enable the rings to be attached to the neck. These rings are usually worn by people in the tribe for several reasons. So here are some reasons for the neck ring custom. Due to their living situation, which is in the woods where wild animals like tigers and lions also dwell, one reason why women in these cultures wear neck rings is to wait off wild animals because they believe that their elongated necks would somehow confuse the wild animals, um, especially tigers, which are known to always go for the neck. Another reason why the people wear neck rings is that they believe it to be a symbol of commitment as the women are required to wear the neck rings until their husbands are deceased. They also wear neck rings as a means of defense against invaders who might intend to abduct their women. Although the elongated necks of the Kanya Lawi and the Indabele women are considered to be quite appealing to the men in the tribes, they don't seem to have the same effect on outsiders. So in cases where men from other neighboring communities try to invade their land and abduct their women, the women would look less attractive to them. Another reason is that the people consider the neck rings as a symbol of dignity as it is believed to be worn only by people from a certain high social class due to their pricey worth. Although it may appear like the necks are actually elongated, it would interest you to know that they're really not what it is is that the clavicle um, which is the collarbone gets deformed and pushed down to make enough room for the rings what the neck rings do is that they push the collarbones down about 45 degrees creating room for more rings which in turn gives an elongated look to the necks
since the cultures where these neck rings are worn require them to be worn permanently over time the neck muscles become weaker on their own and then the neck becomes dependent on the rings for support so should in case the neck rings get removed for any reason the neck stands a risk of collapse which could lead to an unfortunate occurrence the neck ring custom of the Indabele people of South Africa and Kayanlawi people of Asia has proved to stand the test of time regardless of outside opinions. These people have held on tenaciously to their preferred beauty standards and have continued to wear neck rings even on their daughters as young as two years old. What do you think about the neck ring culture of the Indabeles and the Kayanlawi culture? Is this something that you would like to witness for yourself or does this seem a little bit too much for you? And that's it for today's video. Until next time, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.